Seek Gamer 7 and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. This is part two of the Fame Trio Mansion, if you cannot tell by the title or if you just sort of clicked on the video through the thumbnail or whatever. Um, this is the second part to this build, so if you missed the first part, there should be a link down in the description below to part one, and I also will try to remember to include parts three and four, so if you're watching this after they come out, you can just go quickly down there and click on part three to go to the next one immediately after. Um, this is after the outside, so the outside is completely done and now I've done the layout. I did obviously, like I mentioned in the first part, I did cut out the layout. So this is me sort of going around and finalizing some of the color wallpapers and colors and also putting the doors. Now I do end up changing some of the layouts even a little bit more as I go on. For partic like particularly with like day's bathroom and dusk bathroom because I started thinking that some of their bathrooms and like some of the other rooms were a little bit on the big side so I sort of like edited the layout or whatever and added stuff into there so that it divided the space up for those bathrooms but yeah we're gonna start actually placing objects and actually decorating this huge gigantic house in this one now I think I kept I forgot to mention completely in the last one but there is no CC used I did use move objects on so if you do go to download this build off the gallery which it should be up on the gallery already by this part if not, please remind me because sometimes I do forget or sometimes I schedule my videos and I'm actually at work once the video goes live and I forgot to actually put it up on the gallery before I left for work. So sometimes that stuff does happen. So just remind me down in the comments below like, hey, I went to go look for this build on the gallery. I could not find it, but um, and I definitely will go and put it up there as quick as possible once I get home or where <laughs> whatever I'm doing. Um, just always feel free to remind me, but it should be up on the gallery by this part if you want to download. It is an expensive build. So it's definitely not for your starter sims, it's definitely for your more wealthy sims. It's on a 64 by 64 lot in the um, pinnacles up on the hills for Del Sol Valley. Obviously you don't have to put it in Del Sol Valley if you do not want to. If you have another 64 by 64 lot open in another world that you want to put it in, you can put it in there. Um, it does have the celebrity home attached to it, but again, technically as long as you have Get Famous, that does not matter uh, does not like matter where you put it technically because you can have celebrity homes in other worlds as well no I didn't have myself restricted to any packs <laughs> I, I say this every time I feel bad in some degrees because I know not everyone has the packs but actually on the gallery when if you're like wanting to download a building or a house you can actually like when you click on the build it will actually tell you which packs it used and you can actually click on those packs to actually see what items were used in that pack so like if you um want to see like if there's like a pack there that you don't own like let's just say i use like two items just two items from like the vampire game pack and you don't have the vampire game pack you can click on that and see what items I use and if you see that it's only like one or two items and it's items you easily replace can replace then you know like oh well that's not going to be as big of a problem. I do mainly try to avoid um, my first pet stuff just because I personally know that a lot of people are sort of annoyed with that game pack and some people only got it because it was either gifted to them or because there's someone like me who literally buys all of them to actually just give them a go and look at them. Or, you know, you thought maybe it might have potential, but there was a lot of controversy with the Controversy with the... You know what I'm trying to say with that one. So, some people didn't buy it because they didn't like the idea of what they were doing with that one. So, I get not as many people have that one. Even though I think I remember seeing the Ligacy, like, do like go through and actually see which ones were, like, the most bought packs. And uh, with stuff packs, the my first pet stuff was actually on top which to me was a little strange but I don't know I don't know maybe a lot of people gave that away I did see a lot of giveaways and I still see quite a few giveaways for that one um I don't 
actually for surely no, but eh. So anyway, but yeah. On to back to the build. Uh, right now I'm obviously in the kitchen. I did the entryway sort of earlier. I was testing out which cabinet I wanted to use because I wasn't quite sure. And in all honesty, I sort of forget the cabinet sometimes. Partially, I think it's partially because your sims do not use them. And also, I play with the walls half up and half down. So sometimes my cabinets actually disappear when I'm in gameplay. And the only reason why I... Because I used to play with walls completely down. Because I got tired of... Like, I would get annoyed when the walls would, like, be up. And I couldn't see my sim because exactly where my sim was. So I can only see my sim from the one angle. But it was also sometimes, a, like... I don't know, I started getting to the point where I was like, well, I don't mind the walls being up for at least some of them, but I just wish they wasn't up where my sim was. If my sim's, like, in the middle of, like, a small room, it's hard to see them almost from any angle. So, I do play with walls half up, half down, so any of the interior, like, walls that are not, like, the outer edge walls will be down for the most point at certain angles, so sometimes I don't see my cabinets either, so that may also be a thing uh, why I don't, you know, <laughs> you forget to use the cabinet sometimes, but I, I try to remember now that I'm getting more into building to actually use them. As you can tell, I have a bunch of items there in the floor. If you've seen some of my previous builds, that probably doesn't surprise you, but I like to, because I think I, I put most, like, other than the bedrooms, because the bedrooms I do try to get some style, but sometimes some of the style for the bedrooms doesn't even come from the clutter objects themselves. It comes from some of the other things that you put in the room. But with the kitchen, I feel like there is... The kitchen needs a lot of clutter items. The kitchen is some place that all the sims in the house will go, and not everyone likes the same foods or the same stuff or cooks the same way and, you know, so on and so forth. So I feel like there's a lot more clutter items to put in the kitchen, and I like clutterifying the kitchen, literally. Like, I want it to be cluttered. I want it to look like this kitchen's actually used and, uh, like, enjoyed. So I... Basically what I do is I go through the catalog and I literally just pick out which items that I want to use to decorate, like the decorations catalogs, and which ones I actually want to use for the kitchen, put them all on the floor, and then go and just start placing them. Because depending on how many items I decide to get and how, ma like how many like items may also depend on whether or not I, well, like where I put them and stuff, so... Also, it helps me um, when it comes to editing. If I do it that way, I can cut out that whole entire section where I'm just going through the catalog, picking these items, and then putting them on the floor so you still see them and you also see as I'm placing them. So you can see that in the video, but you don't have to deal with the catalog the whole entire time. So yeah, I, I that's just how I tend to decorate my kitchen. <laughs> now, this is going to be the dining room. I really did like how the dining room turned out. I think I changed the color of those tables, if I remember from just doing the screenshots in general. Um, but yeah, there is like the little nice dining room. There is more seating than three, even though there's I'm planning, as of right now, only three Sims living in this house when it gets moved into. Obviously, sometimes my sims like to throw me curveballs, so who knows, there may be a little fourth one, for all I know, or maybe a significant other fourth one, I don't know, but um, my sims, you know, never telling what my sims will do sometimes. They listen to me, and then sometimes they don't listen to me, <laughs> and sometimes they're like, oh, listen, here's a curveball. You didn't ask for this, but here you go, but yeah, so, but I also really want them to entertain a lot of guests like that is the point of a lot of the spaces in this house is they want to actually entertain guests they want to have parties they want to have people over so you need more than three chairs if you're having guests over so i put i made like try to make it look more like a big table or even maybe you can tell that it's two separate tables but they purposely slid them together for that purpose i also use a lot of like the pictures of food from um debug mode because I thought, I wish the frames stayed on them as soon as you place them. The frames, you have to use a sim to actually click on them and put the flat frames back on them. But I wish they sort of would have just stayed on them out of, like, straight out of build mode. But I thought 
pictures, like fancy looking pictures of food, and it's actual food that the Sims technically can eat, looked a little fancy and a little extra, and that's sort of what this house is going for, is trying to be a little extra compared to um, other houses. <laughs> so, but now I'm in the living room, and you may have seen that I was going through like the like um, styled rooms. I've actually tried start to looking at like started looking at the styled rooms a little bit more not to actually take the whole room and place it into my world but just to sort of get some ideas or maybe some themes going on for the room that I'm styling or building so I was looking on trying to get some ideas for the living room because the living room is so huge and technically the living room is divided by that wall that the TV's on so the living room is even bigger than that, but I use that wall to sort of just section off part of the living room and use like some darker tones in that section so that it doesn't look quite as big. And honestly, there is more seating in this room than you probably need for your Sims. There is like three, three or four love seats like two three four single chairs or so there's two couches and then on the other side of the wall there's even more seating so <laughs> there's plenty room for your sims and your guests to sit in just the living room alone but you'll find it a theme that there's a lot of seating seating everywhere i care i think i remembered it in the first part um i'm actually recording i recorded all the voiceovers in the same night and then i got to actually editing, ad editing, what is that word? Adding the voiceovers to um, the actual videos and voice. The sec second voiceover was like messed up, and I figured out what happened. That was like my own fault. Um, my recording software actually stopped recording, and I didn't pay attention to it. But I realized that's what I would what I did because I remember at that particular point in time like where the audio cut off I was afraid that I hit the cords to my um, Elgato because I remembered like that was the pause there was like a sound that I made that was like oh and then they cut off <laughs> so I was like oh that's what happened so I had to record part twos over again so um, yeah <laughs> here I am early in the morning recording this part over because I need it <laughs> uh, so but so I can't remember if I said it in part one or if I technically first stated it in part two but I'm having to redo part twos but there's a lot of seating in this whole entire build like literally seating everywhere the living room is like the king of the seating but every other room basically has seating in it as well except for the kitchen the kitchen I think is literally the only room that does not have somewhere to sit technically um I'm, if you want to count the gym sort of but some of the extra uh, exercising equipment technically you do sit at and also the fact that there's a sauna inside the gym that you sit in so i wouldn't re i would even say the gym has seating all the bedrooms have seating the entryways have seat seating <laughs> literally they all have some sort of seating even like the guest rooms, they have like a cow, like a love seat in them. So there's seating literally everywhere. And there's like some rooms that literally only have really main, mainly sitting. Like that's their primary focus is sitting. So, but yeah, over here in this section of the living room is like the fireplace area. So this is meant to be like a little secluded, cozy sort of area. It's like, I use like a lot of the glamour stuff over here just to try to make it sort of elegant and pretty. And this is sort of no, more of a little nice, like a like a good living room versus a living living room. Um, I actually sort of have that in my house, though the two can be very confused at this point. The only difference is one has a TV and one does not. Um, but otherwise, they both look very lived in at this point. Um, I did have, add some pet objects there. Technically, they do not have a pet. And I don't really know if they're going to have a pet. But I admit, I partially put that there just... To have something there in that space I was also thinking like maybe by the time that this like they move into this build there will be some other packs out which there is um, island living out since I started building this I think by the time what well, I think when I started this build 
I can't remember if Strangerville was out, but by the time I finished it, I'm pretty sure it was. Because Strangerville, yeah, no. Actually, Strangerville may have been already out when I started this, because it wasn't like that long ago that I started this. I can't for surely remember, to be fully honest with you. It may have, yeah, actually, I think it was already out. I think I started this after Strangerville. Strangerville was February, right? I think. I could be wrong. <laughs> my, my days and stuff like that just start to blur together at this point, and I lose track of time, so I'm not entirely sure to a certain extent. But, yeah, anyway, for surely Island Living is out um, after this, and also I know there's a stuff pack coming out, but it, it's more focused on Create a Sim, so that one's probably not going to make a difference. Also, I'm not very excited about that stuff pack either. They hit their high with L Laundry Day, and then it just went downhill <laughs> for stuff packs. Um, I, I'm even not even debating like getting this one as soon as it first comes out. Um, the only thing that might get me to get it when it first comes out is the fact that there's supposed to be a new branch for the freelancer. So that actually might make me get it, but otherwise I'm not quite sure if I will <laughs> when it first comes out because I'm not really looking forward to it from what I've, what little bit they said about it. Now if they go more in depth with that pack and they show more off, maybe I'll change my mind, but as of right now, no. Nah. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. So this is the study that we're on at this point, which has got darker tones. I, I liked, I like usually putting darker tones in my studies, and obviously you can tell there's a theme of tans, browns, beiges, with white and black also, so it's like all the neutral colors, but all at once. But I actually really liked how it turned out, and these paintings that I'm doing up above these desks... I purposely actually make them look like certain like stages of the like I was looking through and I was like okay this 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 setting has three stages that look like night dusk and day and that is the fame trio that's their names that's who they are so I thought that would be like a cool little way to be like sort of representing them was through those paintings that one that scene was done in night dusk and also in daytime so that that was a little like thing thrown towards them that piano was sort of just put there to also cover up that space and like take up that space but I actually end up getting rid of that piano once I go to Day's bedroom because I actually end up changing Day's bedroom around a little bit because I decided her bedroom it was purposely supposed to be like the biggest bedroom but then I decided that it was way too big and they all technically have like their own little advantages of where their rooms are located and honestly Days had such a huge closet that I was like her having a huge closet and also having a huge bedroom now she's got like two advantages or like you know, two plot positives compared to the other two so um, I do make her room like a little bit smaller after the fact and because of that I had to put her doorway into the study because originally her doorway was in this sitting way and that's why I partially made this a sitting way I could have technically like split it up or done something different and try to have another bathroom because you know never can have enough enough bathrooms but basically this little area was to um, be able to get to Day's bedroom and then also get to the room that heads to downstairs down into the basement which, in that room, I just put a bunch of little decorations and stuff so there was at least something in there and not another sitting area because I could have done that, but why would I put two sitting areas literally right beside each other? So, um, but yeah, I eventually, I think that door that goes into Day's room, it stays there because what I basically do is I make a whole new room, but it's supposed to be like her stylist like room because she is a stylist and she wants to like style the rich and famous. So that's sort of the room where, you know, she can bring people actually to her house and actually style them. So that door, I'm pretty sure, stays there so that people, can, other people can get there. But then I have to give her a room, a door to get into her room. And that's why the piano was moved, so that I can do that. But the piano for now is still staying there until I realize that's what I want to do. <laughs> But I do, I do put seats still in that area, minus the fact that I just said that I didn't want to make it a seating area. I still put chairs in there. You gotta have a chair in every single room. There's gotta be somewhere to sit in every room. 
Um, now this is the gaming room that I'm currently working on. Uh, again, I actually changed the size of this because of the fact that I thought Day's bathroom was too big. Which I was mentioning before that I was afraid that the bathrooms were. I think the only one that I don't edit is Knight's bathroom, like size-wise. But I was like, this bathroom's too big, even for it to be like one of the master- Because it's basically like this house has three master bedrooms and three master bathrooms. It's basically almost like that is what that is, but um, it was still too big in my opinion, so I actually sized down the bathroom just a little bit so it gives more room to this room. But you'll see that later. I don't know if that- sh I don't think that shows fully. It may show a little bit in this video, but not fully. I think that starts going more into the next video, like part three, so, but- yeah, and this is the gym. I, I realized um, I didn't talk about the gym too much last time, but yeah, this is the gym. So now that I'm having to redo this voiceover and talk about it, I did this feature in the middle partially to take up space, not gonna lie, but also like it, it's like a mirror feature so that no matter where you're at in the room, you can see the mirror and you can look at how well you're doing with your fitness or if you're like me, you'd probably look at it and be like, ugh. I need to do more, but I want a donut, so oh well, who cares? <laughs> that that is my my um feel on life. Like I like I'm like yeah, I probably should exercise more, and drink water more, and eat healthier. And but dang, that cake looks so good. <laughs> and then I just completely throw everything out. <laughs> Anything health? I'm like snacks, yes. Soda, yes. Chocolate, yes. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Anyway. So yeah, this is the the um, gym, but it's it's honestly nothing super spectacular. I even forgot to, cause I normally like to decorate the spa area. I actually forgot to decorate the spa area. It's like I put the spa in there and was like, as a reminder, cause you may have noticed I had like a bookshelf in the study room and like a game table in the game room, like before I even started like decorating. While I was doing the layouts, which I cut out of the videos to save on time. While I was doing those though, I was placing objects in some of the rooms just to remind myself of some of the ideas I had or what room that was supposed to be because I was like, because I knew it took me, I had eight separate recordings. Certain recordings were really long, like longer than others, but it took me at least eight different days of working on this and some of them at least every recording was o up to an hour, but some of them were longer. Granted, I wasn't like sitting for straight three, four hours. I would get up and go use the bathroom and eat and all that sort of stuff. But um, some of them were really long rec recordings. So I knew when I was doing the layout that I actually was going to be leaving and I wasn't going to be recording anymore. Or I think I stopped recording anyway. I think I did the layout on like a complete different day so it may have been nine days technically and I did the layout uh without recording because I knew I was going to cut it out or at least some of it because I remember some of it I didn't even record because I knew I would have cut it out so I was like there's no not even any point of me wasting spray um precious space on my capture device since this one is already going to take up a lot of space anyway so I uh I do know that I didn't record everything. I can't remember if the layout was part of it, but either way, I knew when I was doing it that I was stopping right afterwards, so I was like, I'm gonna remind myself to what I was planning on doing with these, so I don't get confused when I go back to actually decorate this. <laughs> so that's what that was, but I think I just placed the spa, and I was like, yeah, this is the spa and the gym. But then I didn't go back and actually decorate the inside of the, like the spa sitting area, which slightly annoyed me when I was gonna go to when I went to take screenshots. I was like, really? Did I forget that? Because I like decorating the spas just because I I like trying to decorate where I can because otherwise it feels plain. But I didn't decorate the spa, so just have that in mind when you go to <laughs> if you go to download this. Like the spa needs to be decorated if you want it to be. Now this, what I'm doing here, I was actually trying to divide her space because again, it was huge. And then eventually I decided, I was like, you know what, maybe, maybe I should actually give her like a little separate room for like styling and stuff and not put it in like her closet. So eventually I get rid of all this that I'm doing right now. Like I'm like, nope, <laughs> get rid of you. So, and also I didn't really fully like it anyway. 
because I was very unsure about it, and I was like, uh, I mean, it's okay, but I don't know completely. But anyway, you'll see more of that changes in the next part. This part's going to be ending very soon. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this build so far. I hope you look forward to the rest of it. Um, if you're not subscribed and you want to see the rest of it, definitely make sure you subscribe so that you can, so you don't miss the videos for finishing it off. Also, hit that lovely like button if you enjoyed it. All the links to the other parts as well as the fame trio playlist if you want to go watch the lp of the people who are going to be living in this house and my social medias are in the links i mean in the descriptions down below and i'll see you in the next one bye bye